Okay, the first thing I want to do here is add jQuery. There are lots of ways to add jQuery. We could use a CDN to just use it from the web. We could download jQuery or again, we could simply use the NuGet packages to add it within Visual Studio. And everything is done for us. Um, we will right click the project, manage NuGet packages. We will search for jQuery. And there you have it, the first entry, jQuery by jQuery Foundation, version 2.2.3. To this date, simply click install. Yep, I want to have this finished. And as you can see, Visual Studio has created a script for us, a scripts folder, where jQuery is integrated. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is add a HTML page. So right click the project, add, and now I can choose HTML page here from the context menu and I'd like to call this page index HTML. Great, and there you have it. Now the next thing we need, we want to use jQuery, so we will simply add it. Now you could start to type or just drag and drop the minified version of jQuery into the header section and then jQuery is already here. And now let's check if this application does work already without any methods. So I just type test here and let's have a look in your browser. I use Chrome for this whole series. So right click, I could start it here play Google Chrome. What I like to do is view and then view in browser, which again is Google Chrome in this case, and um, then Google Chrome will start and I will see if everything works just fine. And yes, it does. Awesome. Okay, this means we have our web application running on this local server. And the next thing we want to do is call the method, the get method. Thank you for watching this video and spending your precious time with this tutorial. I always try to get better at these tutorials, so if you have any comments, please leave them below. If you have learned something new, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the next tutorial.